I'm sitting here in the little ante room of my daughter's house in Lake Tahoe, and I'm wanting to react to some of the news as recorded in Friday's paper, USA Today. Here we have Bin Laden asking that they declare war in the Muslim world against the infidel. After all, he's an ally of the United States of America. Dang, I thought that Bin Laden would be, Laden, however you say it, would be long gone by now. You know, for a guy that's wanted dead or alive, declared so by the President of the United States of America shortly after the 9-11 horrific situation. And boy, did I agree with President Bush going after that Bin Laden. Arrgh. But boy, I did think he was a little bit cocky when he kind of did like the old West. We want him dead or alive. And the inference was, we'll get him. Well, I suppose we would. And maybe we still will. I don't know. But what I do know is that right after 9-11, I was subbing in an elementary school in the Yuma, Arizona area. And one of the young teachers there was a girl that when I was superintendent of schools at Summerton, Arizona, was a junior high student. She helped in our office once in a while, got to know her. Then uh, asked her if she'd be interested in coming to the house and we'd pay her to help my wife with a couple of projects that she had on at the house. So, you know, she was special to us and us to her. Here she is, fellow teacher, and I'm subbing down the hall, and it's right after 9-11. She knows when my planning period is, comes down and says, Dr. Riggs, would you come down and talk to my class about the 9-11 thing? She said, I just don't know if I understand it well enough to really do the talking that needs to be done. I said, sure, I'll come down. Well, the kids had lots of questions. And when it came to Bin Laden, they wanted to know if we were going to be able to, you know, get revenge. And I thought, well, yes, I think we will. But I said, you know, it won't be real easy. The man's not a fool. Pretty obviously, if he could engineer and set up all this horrible thing that's happened, he's not an idiot. Before it happened, he's going to go underground. He's, it's hard to tell him where he's hiding, and it may be very, very hard to find him. Well... During my time talking to her class, a fellow teacher from when I was a teacher at Gadsden Elementary, but now the librarian of this particular building, she comes in to do something and listens in a little bit. And she's in the hall when I walk out, go back to my regular class. And she said, we'll get that Bin Laden. Well, I said, I hope so, but... Like I told the class, it's not going to be easy. He's going to hide, she said. You know, right out of the movies. He can't hide, but... Let's see. He can run, but he can't hide. Well, by golly. Seems like he's done a heck of a job of running and hiding. You know, on the TV shows, my wife and I love to watch... Uh, uh, law and order and that sort of thing. And the books we read, the books I listen to to keep me from falling asleep on the road uh, when I'm driving. Seems like the good guys almost always win. They don't win all the time, but before the story's over, the good guys usually get the bad guys. You know, in real life I haven't necessarily found that to be the way it really works. I was superintendent of schools at Elkhart, Kansas for three years and was so happy for a couple as they adopted a baby and after being away from Elkhart a few years was so saddened to hear that this young baby was now a young woman, a young high school student, I think maybe in the upper grades of high school, maybe 16. But anyway, somebody killed that girl. Couldn't even find the body. 
They searched and they searched and they searched. And you know, it's not a huge community. Didn't find her. Months later, it's spring and her body's laying on a field that had been searched by air and I think by ground. Somebody killed that girl and had her in a deep freeze somewhere and then laid her out, I guess, real nice with a little pillow under her head and everything. And they still not found who committed that murder. After we'd been at Alamosa, Colorado and were out at Yuma, Arizona, we're told, somebody sent us a clipping, a fine teacher in a high school building on a Sunday working on her lesson plans, I suppose. Shot several times, in fact, with the gun that was used. They never found the gun, but they could tell what kind it was. Somebody was so angry that they emptied the gun, reloaded, and shot her some more. Never solved. So I guess what I'm saying is that Bin Laden's a bad, bad guy. And he deserves to be hung if there ever was a guy that deserves to be hung. But he's hard to find. And I'm not sure we're going to find him, but I hope we do.